Hi there, my name is Piesa Greaves. I'm the Staffordshire Horde Conservation Manager. And today we're going to have a talk through our new digital x-ray machine, which has been kindly sponsored by the Edward Cadbury Trust and the Birmingham Museums Development Fund. It's a very noisy machine, so some of the, the vlog may be a little bit loud. There are three main components to the x-ray machine. It's all digital, so everything's captured on these small x-ray plates. As you can see, there's quite a large noisy tube on the inside which is controlled by this panel here. Following with taking the x-ray, we capture it from the plate through this unit here, which is then processed by a computer just here. Our first trial is going to be on these, these mock archaeological objects. They're quite representative of what we would find archaeologically and, and, and a really good example of what to start with. So we've got a couple of soil blocks there, so the stuff in there is the piata. That's right, some, some unknown archaeological objects. Ah, okay. So we're hoping to go to see what's inside, so when we excavate, it's more of an informed choice how we do that. So the noise that you heard was a safety feature for us and you can see the lights at the top tells us stand by, x-rays imminent and x-rays on. inside the soil blocks and we can see some detail about the containers that they've been lifted in. If we want to see more details the machine has special filters which I can apply just at the top there which will give us even more detail from the information that it's gathered digitally. So if we zoom in here we can now see on this metal object we can see the inner detail as well as more detail about the threading. At this point as well, we may be able to pick up organics if they were present inside the soil block. The other thing we can do to help get a bit of picture is do an x-ray with a higher KV, so more x-rays. And this is one we've also done, this x-ray here. So as you can see, you cannot see the soil blocks anymore, but what you can see is more detail of those metal objects. So this fantastic machine we will use for the Staffordshire Ford at the moment and also we're hoping to use it on the larger Birmingham Museum's collections, possibly the natural history collections and possibly the Egyptian as well. But we can keep you posted on further blogs as we make progress on those. <laughs>